Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Zainal, praised the keynote address of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the nation, marking the end of this year's Ashura commemoration season. She stressed that the royal praise of the relevant institutions, Sheikh, scholars, Jaffrey Endowments Council, community centers, leaders, and the volunteer field work teams for their distinguished and responsible organizational efforts, as well as commitment to following up and implementing the precautionary measures set by Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, is a badge of national honor for all of them. The speaker stressed that His Majesty's support for religious freedoms has consolidated humanitarian values and principles in respecting sectarian pluralism and is a source of pride. She said that the royal care made Bahrain a pioneering hum humane and civilizational role model for its people's commitment, harmony, cohesion, and peace. She affirmed that the Bahraini people, armed with their national fundamentals, Islamic principles, and civilizational values, are resolved to continue under the comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King in dealing with the challenges created by the current circumstances responsibly with cooperation and enlightened thoughts. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, praised the keynote address of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the nation, marking the end of this year's Ashura commemoration season. He praised the role of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in ensuring the success of the Ashura season while ensuring the safety of all at the same time. He also praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and leading team Bahrain in an effort to combat COVID-19. Al Saleh also hailed the role of institutions, sheikhs, and scholars, as well as all volunteers in this regard. The Minister of Information, Ali Romehi, hailed the cooperation agreement between Bahraini and Emirati journalist associations in the journalism and media fields, which consists of organizing a number of exchange visits between journalists and media personnel and implementing a number of training programs, workshops, forums, and courses, as well as joint conferences. He affirmed that the step contributes to developing the journalism sector in the kingdom in light of the support it receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Romehi asserted, that the agreement reflects the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE in light of the keenness of His Majesty the King and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to develop these relations and increase cooperation for the interests of the two countries. He stressed the Ministry's support to the efforts of Bahrain Journalists Association to develop the strategic relations between Bahrain and the UAE to achieve its goals and develop the national cadres in the journalistic and media fields in the Kingdom. Bahrain Journalists Association and the UAE Journalists Association have announced the signing of a cooperation agreement related to journalism and media. The agreement was signed in Dubai by the President of BJA Ahdiya Ahmed and Chairman of the UAE JA Mohammed Al Hamadi in the presence of UAE JA board members. The agreement stipulates the organization of mutual visits by journalists and training programs and workshops, as well as the holding of sessions, conferences, and seminars to support the profession in light of the use of modern technologies. The president of BJA stressed that the cooperation agreement is very important because it enhances cooperation between journalists and organizes remote training courses that will start soon. Al Hamadi said that the signing of the agreement is part of the strategic cooperation and organizing mutual visits visits by journalists to closely monitor the journalism experience of both countries, adding that it also aims to organize media and journalism training programs as well as to hold workshops for young journalists. The chairman of the Jafari Endowments Council, Yusuf Al Saleh, and council members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the appraisal in His Majesty's speech on the success of the Ashura season, affirming that His Majesty's praise of the success of the season is a source of pride. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,731 with 379 recoveries, 183 registered new cases and one death. 43 of the new detected cases are expatriates, 138 are contacts of active cases and two are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.